Hi friends, happy Thursday. It is throw it out Thursday here. It is less than one week until Valentine's Day. That came super duper quick. Happy Thursday, y'all. I don't understand why Valentine's Day has to fall on a weekday. I think it should be illegal. It should only be able to fall on a weekend so everyone that has a sweetie can have a date night and not have to take off work, right? Yay, hi guys. I'm so excited to see you guys tonight. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Hilary LeMay. If you are new to my channel, I am an essential oil educator and leader with doTERRA International. And that just means that every week we meet here and we use this awesome virtual platform of Periscope to show you how easy it is to live this essential life and kick chemicals to the curb and have a great time while doing it. And um, I love to connect with my team all over the world and with you, of course, as well. So if you would like to swipe to the right or up, you can share this with your friends on social media. And you can also tap the screen as many times as you want to give me love. That just lets me know you're enjoying it, you're having fun, you're learning something, you're having a blast. And you can also tap Tap the screen while you're watching the replay so hi for all the replayers that couldn't make it live hi guys and um, put up a one if you love chocolate I'll give you guys a second because I love chocolate and I don't know about you but I'm sure we've got lots of chocolate lovers y'all look like a chocolate loving crew all right there's all my chocolate lovers yes hello chocolate lovers in the high house <laughs> yes totally oh thank you oh and yes before we go further because I always have to share my Zoya of the night um, this is Zoya Reika R-E-H-K-A she is a beaut for Valentine's Day she's a perfect one for this time of year so for all my chocolate lovers, this scope is for you. You're gonna love it. This is going to contain three simple recipes that are great, versatile, kid-friendly. You can do them at your Valentine parties if you are a teacher or if you are a teacher's helper or if you are um, helping facilitate the Valentine parties for your kiddos. These do not have dairy, so um, that is a great thing. But you can, of course, as always, tweak my recipes to whatever works for your palate and your dietary restrictions if you have any. But you can make these for a neighborhood get together for a date night in um, because Valentine's Day this year does fall on a weekday so um, you know George is working on Tuesday and I have to work as well but we are gonna take a little lunch break date day for Tuesday and we will be able to enjoy some of these treats um, tonight and throughout the next couple days oh hi hi guys I love you guys oh my gosh I'm so glad I love when the littles watch because um, even though Olivia is asleep when she's older you know I would love for her to be on my periscopes with me when she is up this late but it is really fun to share and be on this community with you guys and find a safe place where we can connect and we can talk about living this essential life and sharing it with the little kids and getting them involved because Olivia is super crafty. She loves doing what we're doing. She loves helping daddy build things and she loves helping mommy do all the different crafts that I do. She loves learning about essential oils and there's no reason that your kids can't help you with the safe things that don't involve knives or blender blades. Um, they can be measuring things and learning about math, learning about the different oils and their properties and what they do. So it's a really fun thing. So thank you guys so much for joining. Um, we have a lot of chocolatey goodness to pack into our Periscope Valentine's night party. So, oh, I'm so glad. Thanks guys. Hi, hi kiddos. Love you all. You're so fun. I hope you guys have a great Valentine's day. Um, and so a lot of our packaged chocolate snacks have hidden ingredients like carrageenan, which is a preservative that we've talked about several times in my past Periscope. So if you missed anything, you can go to YouTube and type in my name as a keyword and you can watch all of my past Periscopes as well as clicking on the recent section of my Periscope profile page, but um, carrageenan can affect your stomach. It's a preservative in a lot of creamy products like yogurt, milk, a lot of almond milk has carrageenan hiding in it. Um, deli meats like turkey, you'll see carrageenan on the label. Um, things like diglycerides, artificial flavors and dyes in a lot of snacks that have cocoa powder that's not organic or really good quality. So um, we want to use raw cacao. So tonight we're using raw cacao in all of our recipes. Yeah, and the, the carrageenan that's in the gel caps that doTERRA sells, that's a that's different. That's not absorbed by the body. It's a uh, it's like on the outside layer of the capsules, but if you are super sensitive to it, you can um, you can take a little pin and open them up and squeeze the oil out and either incorporate it into your foods or into your smoothies or different things like that. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna use raw cacao tonight. And raw cacao powder is something that I love to cook with. Um, it is amazing. It is a great superfood and it is high in magnesium, dietary fiber, 
iron, antioxidants like polyphenols, potassium. Um, so we're kicking chemicals to the curb and we're using cacao powder tonight. And we're gonna make my amazing double dutch hot chocolate tasting bar. And then we are going to, oh good. Oh, hi Scotty. Yeah, you just tap the screen at the bottom as many times as you want. And then we're gonna make my sweet and spicy chocolate popcorn. And then we're gonna finish up the night with my black bean no bake fudge. And all these recipes are vegan, so they do not have um, they do not have any dairy in them, which I really like. My mom's vegan, so it'll be really fun to try to experiment and make these for her and my dad. But um, if you don't want to use, you know, cashew milk or almond milk like I'm using, you can certainly use regular cow's milk. I just try to minimize the cholesterol and minimize some of those things that. Um, you know, because dairy is a inflammatory food, so it breeds inflammation in the body internally. So we want to try to stay away from dairy whenever possible. We don't need dairy in our diet. We can get things like calcium and other things that are beneficial from milk. We can get those in other areas of our diet. So um, these are fast, easy, and simple, flexible. There are endless flavor combinations. So again, as always, while you're watching, be, you know, just enjoy the ride. And um, when you watch the replay or, you know, see the recipes that I post on Instagram later tonight, as well as in the uh, public essential oil learning group. So if you are not connected with me on Facebook, shoot me a friend request and I'll pop you into that group. It's a great place where I have all the recipes and the past Periscope replays and stuff. So if you're just now following me and you'd like to get plugged in into that support system, it's a great uh, place for people that are not on my team, for place for people all over. And then we have a private oil group just for my team. So if you don't have any oils yet um, and it's something that you do want to explore and learn about, I'd love to be that mentor for you. I'd love to be that guiding light and help support you with tools, resources, education, support, private mentoring, all of those things. So you can just shoot me a message on Instagram or Facebook if you want to connect with me. If you have any questions of any kind, uh, I would love to do that for you. So um, just <clears throat> a few other little items about cacao because I think it's really important that we understand the difference between cacao and cocoa. So cacao beans are full of flavonoids, which I mentioned earlier about the antioxidants, and flavonoids are natural antioxidants. So antioxidants protect our body from disease, from aging, from free radicals, and cacao is pure chocolate. It is the highest source of magnesium available in a plant. And the nibs, the cacao nibs, I got a question, I think it was from Danielle, I'm not sure if you're on here, Hi, Wendy. But um, Danielle asked last time, and I did not see the question pop up until later. So cacao nibs are just a um, like a chopped pieces. They're just chopped pieces, so it's just a different delivery system. Oh, good. I hope you enjoy them. Yeah, we're going to use them tonight. And they're just a little bit more intense with the flavor than the cacao powder. So um, these are really great to use in like on top of chia seed pudding or on top of different things. And um, you're going to love them, I think, if you try them. So And also, as always, all the items that I talk about and that I show, all the tools and supplies and things are in my Amazon repository and you can get that link it's something I set up Amazon God love them I just Amazon is taking over the world and um, you can go in there and create a repository on Amazon and so I've done that because I get a lot of questions from people that are in the oil world and in our community and they ask you know oh where can I get this that I saw on your Periscope or where could I get that and so uh, I created an Amazon repository so if you click on my Instagram profile page at Hillary LeMay you can click that link and it's bit.ly slash Hillary LeMay and um, you can go there just click that link you can bookmark it and oh hi hi Michael so glad you're here if you bookmark it you can always get that but it's got all kinds, I think it's like 10 or 12 pages now, all the things that I use, so all the ingredients, all the um, materials that I use, and everything, so you can go to one place and get all the things that you see me using, cooking with, baking with, um, cooking and cleaning with, and experimenting with, it's a great place. So you can do that. Um, yeah, so let's get into our first demo. Now, what I wanted to also share with you is that the uh, second edition of the Essential Life book that is coming out, they're coming out with a third edition, uh, it's being shipped next week, I'm really excited. But in your second edition, you will find the inspiration for my hot chocolate bar on page 358 if you have this book and as always you know I take these recipes as a suggestion I make them my own I tweak them so they're not gonna be word for word from this book because I like to put my own amazing spin on these recipes I like to test different recipes out different combinations and see what works for me and what I like so but you know definitely use this as a springboard and then one of the other recipes um, that we're gonna do tonight 
is in the blog book from 2013 that doTERRA put out that if y'all, anyone has been oiling with me that long, then you have this. It's um, the On Guard Popcorn, and it is on page 135. But this is an old school book. I wish they'd come out with a new one um, because they haven't in a while. But I got inspired to do this popcorn recipe. And I've done essential popcorn before. Last year I did it, but uh, I wanted to put a different spin on it. And then this one is the Black Bean Fudge, which is no bake, and it's really amazing. It's on page 143. And it's really cool to be showing you guys how to make such amazing recipes, not only without dairy, but um, we're making black bean fudge. It doesn't require baking, so your kids can help you. And we're using black beans, which is really cool because you don't taste them. They're super high and rich in fiber, so it's really amazing. But um, also I wanted to mention because cocoa powder, so I talked a little bit about earlier about cacao and how amazing it is and all the antioxidants and how beneficial with magnesium and iron and all those things, potassium. Cacao, uh, cocoa powder is processed at a really high heat and it destroys all the nutritional content. So just like we talked about apple cider vinegar and how we want the organic kind with all that mother, those enzymes and really amazing properties that are uh, therapeutic and really great for the body. Cocoa is the same. When the cacao beans are heated at a really high temperature, it destroys all of those health benefits. And um, they also use emulsifiers like sugar and milk fats that are added. So just really practice being a label reading gangster. And if you're gonna use co uh, cocoa powder, just use organic and really read the label and make sure that it doesn't have any high fructose corn syrup in there because you can still enjoy cocoa powder. I'm not saying you can't ever, but really try cacao. It's so delicious and it's really good for you and I think your body's gonna thank you. So now we're gonna do our first recipe. And our first recipe is my amazing choose your own adventure double dutch chocolate hot chocolate tasting bar so for this what we're going to do is start with four cups of cashew milk and i like to use the silk brand unsweetened vanilla this is just the brand that i really like to use there's no carrageenan in here so you can feel safe about it uh, we're going to start with four cups of our cashew milk and then we're going to add to this four tablespoons of raw cacao so that is just again the raw cacao powder from and this brand is navitas naturals and you can get this brand um, on my Amazon repository, so do not stress. You can find that. So we're gonna add our cacao, and it looks just like cocoa powder, but it's way better for your body, and your body's gonna thank you. And then we're gonna add, uh, we're gonna add one half cup of coconut sugar, and I'll show you that I've been using that for a while as well. So for those of you that have been following me for a while, you're familiar with coconut sugar. It has a lower glycemic index than regular sugar, than uh, refined because sugar because it's not refined. So this is the Terrasol brand that I like. It's um, the coconut sugar. I really love this stuff. So hopefully you guys will feel comfortable that you know um, all the things that we're using. And so then we are gonna just mix, mix this around a bit. And then we're gonna add two tablespoons of organic Dutch chocolate syrup. I do not use Hershey's chocolate syrup. If you have Hershey's chocolate syrup in your fridge and you're trying to be a label reading gangster, kick it to the curb. Look how rich and thick this is. And there isn't any high, to, high fructose corn syrup in it. Um, this is also on my Amazon repository and you can find it. I've been wanting to do this recipe for quite a while, but um, you know, I've wanted to demo this recipe. You do need it in your life. I've been wanting to demo this recipe probably for about a year. Um, but I've just been tweaking it so much and trying different things and then there were so many other things that I wanted to show you guys So I'm finally getting to it and I'm really excited especially because it's Valentine's week So we've got that and let me show you the bottle. It's also on my Amazon repository but This is a great uh, replacement for your Hershey's chocolate syrup. This is organic Dutch dark chocolate Joe's chocolate syrup. It's really nice and thick. You can make um, chocolate milk with like cashew milk and that and it's just so good and then we're gonna add a pinch of Himalayan pink salt which I love because I just think it adds a really nice sweet and savory vibe. And this is the pink salt that I use. I had a lot of questions, so I just wanna to try to be thorough with you guys and show you all the ingredients that I'm using. All right. Okay, and so then we are gonna add a splash of my favorite Madagascar vanilla. This is Simply Organic Madagascar Vanilla, just a splash. It's not an exact science, just do what you like. I like a little bit of vanilla. Hope you guys are having an awesome night wherever you are. All right, and then we are going to whisk this together. Whisk, whisk, whisk. And we're gonna whisk this until it combines. It's gonna take a minute because the cacao powder is dry. 
And if you guys want to put in the comments what you're doing for Valentine's Day, if your kiddos have a party at school or if you're doing something special with your sweetie or making a special dinner, um, we love to do date nights in. We'll make like rack of lamb or a really nice prime rib. Um, our grocery store does a um, half price prime rib on, um, I think it's Wednesdays. So we'll go to the grocery store on those days and get a really nice cut of meat at a really great price and do that. And, uh, you know, whatever day it works for his schedule where George is off. You're dairy free. Oh, good. I'm glad you're going to love these recipes. Yes. And the weather has been so weird too. Who knows how to dress these days? Like the other day it was 60 or 70 degrees and then we had snow today. So who knows? All right. So what we're going to do is just mix this all up until it's combined. And to save time, I'm actually going to just set this aside for now. And I'm going to show you all of you guys when it's done. You stick it in the crock pot. When you're done mixing everything together, you're gonna stick it in the crock pot for like maybe two or three hours, and it's gonna be so delicious and thick and creamy, and this is what it looks like when it's done in the crock pot. And I like a little mini crock pot. Um, this holds four, well actually probably holds about four and a half cups, but I really like this little guy, and um, I don't think I put this in my Amazon repository, but I'll do that tonight. This is really fun to do in a crock pot because you can just travel with it and you can bring it to parties and you can have it set up if you're gonna do a little Valentine party for your kiddos or for your neighbors. You can just have it set up with all the little goodies that I'm gonna show you. And so when you're done with your hot chocolate, it is a base, it is a blank canvas for you to infuse with your essential oils. So I'm gonna put this to the side and I'll show you what I've set up. It's really, really fun and simple. And you can just use your imagination and do this however you want. So what I've done is I've set up a really cute little tray. I got this from Michael's for a couple bucks. It was on sale. And what you're going to do is you're going to be creating a do-it-yourself tasting bar for your hot chocolate drink. So you've got your hot chocolate and we'll pull it here to the side so you guys can see. Well, you can't see it now, but I'll show you in a second. And so you're gonna take whatever mugs, I wanted to show you guys clear so that you could see what I'm doing, but um, you know, you can just use little mugs. And what I've done is put some of those little raw cacao nibs here, and I've got some beet matcha powder, which is just green tea powder, but it's um, made with beetroot. And since we talked about beets last week, you might like that. It's an organic matcha powder, which is just really great for antioxidants and all those good things, and some coconut. Look at this. The beautiful coconut will add flavors because there's a lot of recipes out there for hot chocolate bars and you're using marshmallows with lots of uh, sugar and processed things and all these other things that have processed sugars in there and you really don't want that. We're kicking chemicals to the curb and it doesn't mean that you have to feel deprived. It doesn't mean you can't still enjoy some of your favorite things. So what I've done is I've set up a little tasting area here and we've got some of my favorite essential oils to use with hot chocolate. So for example, we've got peppermint. And what you can do is you can take a toothpick swirl of whatever your favorite essential oils are, or you can use the dropper. So it's totally up to you. We've also got lavender. You can make a yummy lavender hot chocolate. And I've also got wild orange here. Yummy, yummy. Wild orange and chocolate is always a great combo. Or like a Mexican hot chocolate, and you can combine black pepper, cinnamon bark, and cardamom so it's kind of like a chai Mexican type of flavor combo and it's really fun to just let the kids get involved and of course have someone that's a little older doing the chocolate and pouring it so I'm going to show you guys just for a second here I'm going to show you I'm going to take a little scooper and put some hot chocolate in one of my little cups I'm just going to scoop the chocolate in and what you can just do is let people do this themselves however they like so you've got a little hot chocolate here right and then what we're gonna do is infuse this with our favorite so I'm gonna do uh, let's see I am gonna do cardamom because I think cardamom is super yummy with this and I'm just gonna do the little toothpick swirl method because cardamom is pretty strong and in a little cup you don't need a lot so what you're gonna do is take your hot chocolate and you're just gonna swirl it like in figure eights with your toothpick and there you go and you're gonna have a beautiful hot chocolate infused and I'm gonna add some raw cacao nibs to this. So again, I have these little spatulas that I've shown in a previous scope and they're really handy for crafts and all those fun things. You can just take a few little cacao nibs and put those on top of your hot chocolate and you can take some of the beetroot matcha powder which just tastes like kind of like a green tea flavor. You can take a little bit of that powder on there and then you can take some of your coconut. And this is just shredded, unsweetened organic coconut 
and you can put a little bit of coconut on there and it's just so much fun and you can let the kids help and you can do whatever you like so cheers this is a yummy little dutch double dutch chocolate hot chocolate tasting bar that you can do yourself with thousand and one different ways so i hope that you will try this and um, see what you like there are endless possibilities like i said this is so yummy super pretty really simple it might look fancy but it's not i got the tray it's a cardboard paper tray from michael's for a couple bucks um, you can put all your mugs together in a little area of your kitchen or a little area of your living room if you're having friends over for game night or a movie or whatever you're doing and let them flavor their own and it's a great way to incorporate essential oils into an event or you know to bring them to people that might not know anything about essential oils and they're not scary they're not snake oil it's really fun you can use them for so many fun things so I hope you will try these and let me know what you think when you do. But again, it's just, you know, a base of cashew milk and you can stick it in your crock pot and let it go for a couple hours and stay warm while you're cooking and doing all your other crafty things. So hopefully you will enjoy that and you'll have to let me know. I'm going to put this aside as we get ready for our next recipe, which is our sweet and spicy chocolate popcorn. Now for this recipe... What I've done is I've just gone ahead and made some freshly popped popcorn. Olivia and George and I helped me with this earlier tonight. And this is on my Amazon repository as well. It's super simple to make your own popcorn. You don't need to get those bags of popcorn from um, the grocery store with nasty chemicals in the bag and in the lining and fake me out, all that stuff. All you do is just take raw um, corn kernels and you, you know, the dried corn kernels that you make for popcorn. You just put those in here, you fill it up, and then you just put these down here. You turn the button on on the side and you put a little bowl down here to catch them and if you go back to my periscope uh, my periscope archive on YouTube you can watch the video of George and I demoing how we make essential popcorn I'm gonna do that for you as well but we show you how to use the machine it's super duper simple like I said you put the kernels in you push the button on the side and it takes like two minutes and boom you have fresh popcorn with no oil no salt no none of that unless you want to so that's how you make the popcorn so once we do that what we're gonna do is just gather our ingredients that we need to make our popcorn, and we're <clears throat> gonna get a little prep done. So first, we're gonna take a plastic bag, and we're just gonna brush the inside of this with olive oil, and that is gonna help all of our goodies stick. So we're just gonna take a little pastry brush and dip it in some olive oil, and then we are gonna brush the inside of our Ziploc bag. And you don't need a lot, probably, you don't need more than a teaspoon. And you're just gonna make sure that all of this bag is moistened with your olive oil. Okay. And then, we are gonna take two tablespoons of raw cacao powder. And again, that is the cacao powder that I showed earlier. Let me grab it for you. This is the Navitas Naturals Raw Cacao Powder, magnesium, great in dietary fiber, potassium, so many great things for you. So we're gonna take two tablespoons of raw cacao powder and just drop this right into here. And then we are gonna add two drops of our On Guard essential oil blend. This is spicy, it's sweet. If you don't like this, you can just do cinnamon, you can do um, anything you want. I mean, the, and the possibilities are endless. But you're just gonna add two drops of our On Guard blend. And then you're gonna add one teaspoon of coconut sugar. And then a hint of Himalayan pink salt, just a splash, that's all you need. All right, and then we're gonna add our popcorn, our secret ingredient, our special ingredient. You're gonna just transfer all this freshly popped popcorn into the bag. I'm going to try to get some of the air out. I'm just going to give it a little shimmy shake. And chocolate and spicy and sweet and savory. It's going to be so good. And you have chocolate popcorn in no time. So much better than all those nasty chemical filled popcorns that you might buy from the grocery store. Yummy! Right? Little, little shimmy shake. And then all you do is take a really beautiful bowl. Again, I got this from Michael's in the sale aisle, in the discount aisle for clearance for no money at all. And ta-da, you have spicy, sweet, 
savory, yummy, yummy chocolate popcorn. You can enjoy it as a snack with your hot chocolate with your essential oils and it's sweet and crunchy and savory and yummy and you don't have to feel guilty about it at all. So I hope you guys will try this as well. Again, you can do like peppermint, black pepper and rosemary and lavender, cinnamon, anything you want for a great date night in. It's a great thing to bring um, with you. Over the holidays, I showed some spice nuts that I made and I stored them in like little plastic cone sleeves and you can just tie them with a little ribbon. You could totally do this as a teacher gift for Valentine's Day um, because there's no nuts in there. So if your child's school has a nut allergy or anything like that, you don't have to worry about it. So I hope you guys will try this recipe. Super duper simple again. like really simple your kids can totally get involved each of your kids can make their own recipe whichever one that they like so it's a really fun way to get them involved as well all right and so then our last recipe is my chocolate lovers no bake black bean fudge you're gonna love it i'm just telling you it's it's gonna rock your world so prepare all right <laughs> so let's see for this we are gonna start with three and a half cups of cooled cooked black beans. And you can um, use whatever black beans you like. Now, if you're using canned black beans, be sure that you rinse them because some black beans um, have uh, salt water that they're in. So you just wanna make sure that they're rinsed clean. And then what you also wanna do is make sure that you um, boil them for about six to eight minutes. So you wanna make sure that they're cooked because we're gonna blend them up and we're gonna make a, an awesome fudge. So you're gonna do, you're gonna start out with your three and a half cups of cooked cooled black beans and so we're going to add all of these things to our handy dandy ninja blender and we've got the behemoth on here today i haven't shown this on periscope before i've always used the individual single serve but we're going to use the big guy today and all we're going to do is add everything into the pool so we're going to add these black beans that's just three and a half cups of black beans all right and then we are going to add three-fourths cup of coconut oil. Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to add our solid coconut oil. I'm going to try to make sure that I'm not blocking you guys from seeing. So we're going to just toss this into here. That's just solid coconut oil. Yes, I know. I can't wait for you to try it. I think you're really going to love this. And then we're going to add three-fourths cup of our chocolate cacao powder. And again, it is just... So, so simple and so yummy. Your kids can help you measure everything. Can the coconut oil be in liquid form? No, it has to be solid coconut oil. Uh, liquid coconut oil is for carrier oil that you use with your essential oils, um, and it's been fractionated so the fatty lipids are out of it, but you want the healthy fats in the coconut oil because coconut oil is solid at room temperature, and that's gonna help the fudge hold its uh, form. So, you know, fudge has a solid texture like that. If you use liquid, then it would be like fudge batter and it would never harden. So you definitely wanna use the solid coconut oil. And then we're gonna add one half cup of coconut sugar. Try not to block you guys. And then we're gonna add a half a cup of honey and you can use local organic honey. Just put all this goodness in there. So yummy, so yummy, so yummy. You're gonna love it. And then we are gonna add a little hint of the Himalayan pink salt again. I really like the sweet and savory, so you'll see that in a lot of the recipes that I'm doing. And then we're gonna add a little pinch of our vanilla that we used in the previous recipe. Just the Simply Organic Madagascar vanilla. And then we are gonna add our essential oil. So we're gonna add six drops of wild orange. Now I am not, oh hi Dr. Laura, I'm so glad you're here, thank you. I am not really a fan of mint and chocolate. I know everyone loves it, so please, for sure, by all means, if you love peppermint uh, fudge, please do peppermint. I can't wait to hear how you love it, but I prefer wild orange with this. So I'm gonna add uh, six drops of wild orange to this batter. One, two, three, four, five, six drops of wild orange and again you do whatever flavor combos you can do lavender and cardamom that would be an amazing one um, there's so many great options and so then what we're gonna do is blend all this magic stuff up and so I am gonna get my top on here all right and we're gonna let her rip
periodically once or twice because this is pretty thick you can go in and you can just scrape the sides to make sure that all of the mixture is combined so short people problems right like I gotta lean in up here okay and we're gonna just make sure all of the black beans are getting equally pulsed and it looks like they are which is really good so we're just gonna keep rocking and rolling another few seconds on this one just put this back on and this is the ninja blender I cannot speak highly enough about this blender I love it for everything smoothies salad dressing pesto you name it I love it So there, see, you can see a little, a few little areas where the dry ingredients didn't get combined, which is totally fine, and that's totally normal. So what we're going to do is take this off, and then I'll be able to show you how you can just easily manipulate that around. And I'm going to also bring our 8x8 square baker here, and you can use whatever you have. This is what I'm going to use. Um, I think it's a perfect size. And what you'll do is just ju just go right in here with your spatula and make sure that you get on the sides where any of those little bits of powder did not get <laughs> did not get combined. Okay, so you just want to scrape everything, and it's so smooth. Look at that; it's so good, and it's going to taste amazing. So all we're going to do is just if you want to take the blade out, sometimes that helps because the blade has got a lot of really good stuff in there that we're going to scrape off. And it's a nice juggle. I hope you guys are still enjoying our chocolate lovers party. It's a few more steps and a few more ingredients than normally, but it is totally worth it. There's no guilt, no baking. Your kids are going to love it. It's going to be so good for healthy bowel movements because black beans are so high in dietary fiber and cacao is so high in dietary fiber. It's so good for you. You're not going to feel like you're eating health food. Um, I promise you. And you know what? Loving yourself and practicing self-care also means enjoying indulgent things like dark chocolate. And it doesn't mean that because you're watching your, um, you know, your waistline and you're doing all these things, it doesn't mean you can't enjoy those special treats once in a while. So I'm here to show you how you can do that. And so this batter is just gonna be so delicious and really amazing. And again, if anything didn't get incorporated, you'll have an opportunity again as we flatten this out to incorporate any dry ingredients. And it smells fresh like the wild orange and it smells chocolatey and it and it smells rich and you don't taste and you don't smell the black beans but it is a really great way to share the protein share the dietary fiber with friends you don't even have to tell people that it's black bean fudge when you go to a party when you bring this they would never know if you did not say um, I'm just gonna tell you right now, it is so tasty. I even was skeptical. I had to try out a couple different recipes because normally like I'll find recipes, but I'll usually take three or four of them and I'll kind of tweak them to my liking. And this recipe, I mean, I've done a couple different ones and this is just, this is it. This is the magic combination. I, I can't, I can't even express how awesome it is to be able to find a recipe that there's no dairy in and you don't have to feel bad about. Now, I'm not saying this is a health food by any means because, I mean, it's a healthier option from, you know, compared to a normal fudge. But I mean, there's, there's sugar, you know, there's honey and there's coconut sugar, but it's not refined processed sugar. So when we're talking about being label reading gangsters and things like that, what I'm trying to, Im to impress upon you is that there are so many ways that we can have alternatives. Just like with living an essential life, we're using alternatives to synthetic health care and remedies and um, preventive care and boosting our immune system. It's the same with being a label reading gangster and looking at the labels on the things that we're eating and analyzing all of those things in our lives. I'm going to wipe my hands off a little. Um, you know, and so it's just a trade-off. Oh, thank you so much, Danielle. I'm, it is so fun to connect with you guys. I love this so much. Um, you know, I... I really enjoy coming up with these recipes and, and, and putting them all together for you because it helps my team, it helps us, it helps my new oilers when they get started with me um, and they have questions about, you know, how do I make laundry soap and how do I make chia seed pudding? I can send them a link to a demo that I've done and, and it's really wonderful that they can be empowered and go on their merry way being able to do these things simply. So I just love sharing these with you and I'm so glad that you are enjoying them too. So what you do is just take whatever, you know, you can use a knife. This is a little pastry 
um, frosting thingy majiggy. I don't know if anyone's a Pampered Chef person. I got this many, many years ago from a Pampered Chef friend. So all you do is just want to smooth this out so it's even because um, when you want to, when you want to, when you're going to cut it, once it's firm, you want it to be as even as possible. And you, I really like the eight by eight baker for this. I just find that it gives it the right thickness to be able to do what's next. All right. And so what we're going to do for this one is we're going to do a little combination of things. So I'm going to put some coconut on a few areas, maybe like here. I'm going to put, I'm going to make this quadrant the coconut quadrant. So I hope you guys are are enjoying this cuckoo for cacao night here on Periscope. It's our Valentine party. I'm trying to give you plenty of time to get these ingredients and experiment with them before your Valentine's festivities on Tuesday. And um, then we're gonna use our cacao nibs. These are just the raw cacao pieces. They are really intense with their flavor and they're just super fantastic. You can put these on your trim shake with chocolate trim shake. You can do like an orange chocolate trim shake with the um, creamsicle version that just came out. You can put these on anything that you want. Oatmeal, it, that would be a really decadent <clears throat> oatmeal. And then we're going to do our matcha powder. And this is like a really nice energizing beetroot matcha powder, which is basically just green tea. And green tea and chocolate is a really cool combo. And so there you have it. So what we've done is we've put our fudge, our black bean fudge, into our square baker, and then we're gonna just let this sit in the refrigerator overnight. And once you do that, because the magic of Periscope allows me to, you take, you can take some cookie cutters and make fudge hearts. Now, what I've done, I have, of course, I have the Wilton 100-piece set of uh, cookie cutters, so I've got, I'm set for all holidays, of course, but you can just take cookie cutters, whatever you might have around the house. You don't even need to use cookie cutters if you don't want to. You can also cut them up into little fudge squares, but this is what I like to do, and so you can either do little squares or little hearts, and you can put these on a platter for your kids and for your for your neighbors or for school. You can package them up in really pretty little containers. Um, when you know when we get messy here, it's really fun because you know you're having fun when you're messy, right? And I love to get messy too. Um, but so you know, in just a few minutes, in about what a half an hour, and really it would be less because I'm chit chatting my way through it for you guys. But we've made a do-it-yourself hot chocolate bar with all of our essential oils and all these yummy accoutrements for flavoring and tasting. And we've done raw cacao nibs and our beetroot powder and our coconut. And you know, you can just put whatever essential oils together on a platter, it doesn't have to be fancy, just super fun and with love. And we've made our chocolate, we've made our chocolate on guard popcorn, super yummy and a great snack. And we've made our no bake, vegan, no dairy fudge with black beans and you would never know that there's black beans in there. It's so good. So yeah, I hope you will love these. Mm, mm. It's smooth, it's rich, it's orangey, so that citrus gives it a lightness to kind of cut the denseness of the chocolate. So good, I really hope you guys will try these and let me know how you like them because, and don't tell anyone that's trying them that there's black beans, they'll never know. It'll just be our secret, All right? Yeah, these are super yummy. Um, <clears throat> Just a few little housekeeping items. If you are coming to our Two Curls on Oil Spa Night on Sunday, the date has moved to this Sunday at 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. Central. I am so excited to see you guys, and we're going to have a night of self-care, and maybe if I can save a few of these for that night, I might save them and have a little bite of chocolate black bean fudge on our self-care spa night. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. Um, and also, we recorded our next podcast for February and our tech guy Andrew is currently editing it so we can't wait to share that with you guys as well if you're not following us there go to facebook.com slash two curls on oil and um, as always tag me on Facebook or Instagram if you try these I would love to see what combinations that you come up with I am inspired all the time by you guys and if there's ever anything that you want me to demo or you want me to try I would love to do that for you I'm gonna have some chocolate popcorn mm. oh my gosh it's so good and I'm gonna have a little hot chocolate. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. So, and with that, I'm gonna say goodnight because I am gonna have some Chocolate Lovers Fest time here tonight while I clean up this disastrous zone of my dining room table that you can't see, thankfully. So I hope you guys have a great night. I hope you have an amazing Valentine's Day full of contentment, full of happiness, love, and cacao. And I will see you guys next Thursday. 
Bye.